Bonjour le trio Rusconi. Bonjour. Bonjour. Stéphane, Bonjour. Fabian, Claudio. Euh, vous êtes trois. C'est un trio, c'est important. C'est essential that it's a trio, it's not just you. Même si euh, le nom, euh, c'est votre nom à vous qui êtes le, le pianiste du, du trio. Mm -hmm. euh, votre nouvel album euh, s'intitule Revolution. Euh, c'est un nom fort, un titre fort, strong title. Euh, Est-ce que c'est plus la révolution au sein de votre trio que la révolution dans la vie en général It's more like the revolution in your trio, in the history of the trio, than in general. This new album. Oui, je, je pense que nous avons changé beaucoup de choses euh, euh, de nous, euh, du façon de travailler et, et de la façon de travailler. Euh, et ça, c'était la révolution pour nous, vraiment le, cet changement. Euh, nous avons enregistré nous-mêmes et nous avons quitté un, un grand label euh, alémanique, euh, Sony Music. Et euh, ouais, je pensais ça. Mais c'était un, un besoin, cette révolution Was it a need Oui, c'était vraiment euh, Why? une lutte. Pourquoi Because we, we didn't feel uh, good with our situation before. We wanted to be faster and I mean now we have a very nice system. We have this thing together with uh, beaches. We, we have a chance to bring our music out in the world. And beside of that, we can also work uh, on our, cha our personal channels. And that's, I think it's a very good combination we have now. We can reach a lot of people. And before we had, uh, I think that's, and, and I think the, the title revolution, I think in this way, like we do it now, we are, it's unique. I don't know if there are many bands doing it like that because we have, uh, yeah, we have many different possibilities. And that, uh, it, was a, it was a way to get to this point. And I think the title revolution is more about our way to come to this point. It's, it's not about music. If, som if somebody thinks, yeah, our music is also a revolution, great. But we wouldn't say that. I mean, it's a musical revolution for yourself. Yeah, maybe f for myself, but I, I, I wouldn't say that what we do is a revolution. Yeah. Music, musical, uh, it's no. But if, if somebody else. Est-ce que vous pensez que c'est parce que d'une certaine manière, quand vous avez, vous avez commencé, donc comme vous l'avez dit, euh, ce n'est pas le, le début cet album, il y a eu d'autres albums avant, euh, vous vous sentiez peut-être euh, comme euh, encagé, emprisonné par une étiquette de trio de jazz même si à chaque fois vous insistez sur le fait que vous n'êtes pas juste un trio de jazz, did you feel like caged, trapped in the fact that uh, you were like labeled as a jazz trio, but you always mention that you're not just, it's not just jazz music that you are doing? Yeah, I wouldn't say that I felt trapped, but sometimes you feel that people want, want to, to, to trap you <laughs> in this, in this, uh, with this label, you know, they want to, 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 to feel you, uh, as a as a jazz trio and uh, and uh, we uh, don't really feel like that we we we, we uh, it, it developed like more in in a way of uh, a rock band kind of thing you know we we uh, we have really long rehearsals and we spend like days together and and that's that's the whole working aspect of 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 this is 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 kind of kind of different to to uh, to other jazz groups I think you know it's 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 a long-term thing and um, musically we we developed uh, different I think we we uh, we have tunes where Fabian is playing the guitar instead of the double bass and and we we use lots of preparations in the piano which you can also find of course in, in jazz but but uh, but it's it's the the It's a different. I, I think it's a different approach somehow. I, I feel it. I feel it as a different approach. Oh, 
l'improvisation reste quand même euh, au cœur de votre, euh, de votre musique, on le sent. Improvisation still the heart of your music. Oui, je pense que euh, c'est un, un c'est une truc important pour nous euh, d'essayer des trucs au moment et euh, prendre du risque au mo moment. Et cette libération, je pense, c'est important pour nous d'avoir ça dans la musique. Mais autrement, c'est aussi euh, nous avons aussi beaucoup des, des fixes, des, des structures fixes. Euh, mais, mais cet aspect d'improvisation euh, euh, vivide, c'est vraiment imp important pour nous, je pense. L'écriture a été... Euh, la, la façon dont vous avez composé, dont vous avez écrit ce nouvel album, était différente par rapport au, au passé Was the way you wrote composition and the themes from this new album was different from uh, the way you wrote in the past mm. uh, oui, oui, je pense parce que nous avons euh, loué un studio pour nous-mêmes pour deux semaines et pendant ce euh, temps nous avons développé beaucoup euh, de la musique sur cette CD euh, et comme ça c'est un mot euh, plutôt un projet Pro projet pro projet et process un, pro un processus pro processus mm. euh, et pas comme ça que moi je porte euh, une, 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 une pièce un truc et et nous joue ça maintenant. Mm. C'était plutôt or organique. Mm. Vous aviez fait un, un album hommage à Sonic Youth avec des reprises de Sonic Youth. Uh, you did this uh, tribute, uh, Sonic Youth tribute album. Uh, it was something uh, essential for you to, to show where you're coming from, where your musical roots were mm. or are. C'est un moyen aussi pour souligner les, vos racines musicales, cet album. <rire> oui, pour, pour moi, je pense que c'était important. Pour ouais. moi, c'était important, mais pour, pour euh, le groupe, c'était aussi oui. un, un mm. grand change. Je pense que quand nous avons fait ce projet Sonic Youth, ça a changé beaucoup, je pense, pour notre groupe. C'est le début de la révolution Oui, peut-être. Oui, oui. Je pense que notre musique a beaucoup plus de liberté et aussi. Yeah, there are a lot of parts where we can be creative every night. So we play a lot every year, and I, I like that very much. That we have a lot of spots in our music where we can be creative, and it can be different every night. And that's uh, I think we from this Sonic Youth thing, we learned a lot also for uh, I mean for looking for new sounds on our instruments. So I play the double bass and. For me, it was very inspiring to listen to Sonic Youth. I didn't know the band like him. He was listening to this group uh, when he was 14 or 15. Mons. Like, <laughs> yeah, like uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and for me, it was new and mm -hmm. uh, it was so uh, so inspiring. Yeah, to to, and then yeah, it's maybe also a reason why I play the guitar now a little bit. Mm. And uh, yeah, that was maybe the beginning of. Mm. Maybe it was also. Uh, on our, we play together since I don't know eight years now, and I think we are getting more and more to the point where we. I mean, it's changing all the time a little bit our music, but it's getting more focus on what we really want to do. I think. I mean, it's still. We are still on the way. En parlant de Sonic Youth et de guitare, il y a Fred Fries qui est invité sur cet album. Talking about Sonic Youth and guitar, Fred Fries is uh, on the album. How did you meet? Uh, we've met um, Fred in Basel because he sometimes uh, is uh, teaching there and at the same time we were recording our uh, CD, uh, the latest CD, uh, Revolution and um, yeah and then uh, he was in the same building as we recorded, he was staying there uh, in an apartment and then uh, we we knew where his flat was and we <laughs> rang the bell and he was coming down and he was listening to the track very you know focused and then he said I'm going to get my guitar <laughs> <laughs> and then at the uh, uh, yeah with that he and he played <laughs> uh, he played with us and it uh, i think it's beautiful we also did a, a video clip um With that, it's a uh, nice song which uh, which uh, shows, I think, in a good way uh, how we work. When, uh, we 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 started with this song like a, like a, it was a little sketch, you know, just uh, two lines on a paper, and then 
Stefan said, oh yeah, maybe I, I won't try this preparation. And then he added this preparation. And then in the, in the end, Fabian said, hmm, maybe we could do uh, a real long version of it. And that's how it, you know, that's how it developed. It, it's like, like a jigsaw. You put uh, uh, stuff together and the three of us as a collective, and then that's the result. And I think it's, it's yeah, it's uh, one of my favorite pieces of the of, the, of this album. Vous utilisez de plus en plus la voix, parfois du chant, parfois des des bruits, des cris, etc. You're using more and more voice, like shouting or words, or it depends. And uh, is it something uh, essential for you? And your your approach of the voice is very interesting. It's more like a bit like Robert Wyatt or people like that. Is it? Uh, How do you use it as an extra instrument, or vous l'utilisez comment cette voix comme un instrument supplémentaire? Je pense euh, c'était ça. Oui, est-ce que c'est vraiment? Ouais. Ouais, c'était vraiment ça. Mm -hmm. Mais peut-être ça change un peu maintenant. Mm -hmm. Aussi utiliser des mots et vraiment chanter, mais mais c'est un, un chemin long hein, <rire> de faire ça vraiment euh, sente bien de pendant du faire ça et. Euh, mais c'était ça, c'était euh, au comment c'était créer euh, une atmosphère euh, avec des voix euh, qui supportent la musique. Plus des sons que des, des significations. Ouais. Bon sens, yeah. ouais. et, et je pense c'est c'est aussi pour moi si il y a une voix dans la musique, c'est totalement différent. La musique euh, comme comme je sens moi-même. Mmh pendant l'écouter tout ça c'est intéressant <rire> de jouer un peu avec ça
Euh, même si, comme on l'a dit, vous n'êtes pas un trio euh, piano, basse, batterie de jazz classique. Euh, Est-ce qu'il y a des trios dans l'histoire euh, piano, basse, batterie de, de, de l'histoire du jazz qui vous ont, qui vous ont marqué C'est un peu une sorte de, de planète dans l'histoire du jazz, le trio piano, basse, batterie. I mean, uh, piano, bass and drums is like a little planet in the world of jazz music, in the history of jazz. And even mm. if you're not like just a, a classic uh, jazz trio, is there some of these trios in the history of jazz who were like very important for you il y a beaucoup. Actuellement, pour moi, c'est mm. c'est uh, c'est Chase Moran et this band bandwagon. Mm. Pour moi, ça c'est vraiment uh, un truc que j'écoute beaucoup. Mm. Ouais. You guys? Ouais. Pendant l'école, j'ai euh, écouté beaucoup de uh, Bill Evans, Bill Evans trio. Ça, la, 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 la fonction du de la batterie a, a changé là, je crois, mm. vraiment. Ouais. Yeah, many different. I mean, it's like you said, it's 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 very important in jazz, the trio. It's a world in itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then uh, especially, I mean, for for every instrument, bass, drums, piano. Mm -hmm. I was listening yeah, to uh, also Bill Evans, Thelonious Monk. I don't know, Oscar mm -hmm. Peterson, mm -hmm. Keith Jarrett, all <laughs> different. It, it's just, I think that's also nice. It, it, it I think it's nice because of. Constellation, you have. Uh, it's possible if if you are a quartet. It's it's uh, there's. I mean, it's not less freedom, but it, it gives the trio gives. Uh, it, it's 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 uh, it gives a good way to communicate. I think it's a good uh, number. Yeah, number. <laughs> oh, it's a magic yeah, number. It's good uh, mm -hmm. to. It's easy to be organized a little bit. It's not too big, <laughs> and it's yeah, and everybody can bring some ideas, and it's not focused just on one and mm. the other guys are more behind. Mm. Uh, I mean, it could be also in a trio, but uh, it, it's, you're flexible. Mm. Mm. Je crois Money Jungle est un bon, un oh bon yeah. exemple pour ça, parce que tu, <laughs> tu écoutes chaque personne vraiment vite. Hein. C est, c est, c est cette organisation, euh, la basse, euh, la, le, le piano et la batterie, mais après la, la dernière, la, la, la première morceau, tu, tu es vraiment, tu, tu sens les. Oui, c'est trois musiciens, ouais. trois géants, donc ouais. trois caractères. Ouais. Mm. Euh, en parlant justement de, des trios, on vous a un peu mis dans le même groupe que EST or Bad Plus or a lot of people put you in the same, uh, in the same wave of these bands, which I don't think is exactly the same apart from the fact that you are three and maybe you were not listening only to jazz music. Est-ce que ça vous <laughs> maybe, <yeah. laughs> just maybe, who knows? Uh, Est-ce que ça vous a énervé, ça vous a agacé, ça vous amuse? Uh, how did you react to that? Did you love? You didn't take care. Ça sont sont des bons groupes, mm. super groupes. Uh, Bad Plus, uh, Ethan Iverson, je, je le connais, je je suis pris des les les cool. leçons mm. uh, avec lui à New York. Et oui, uh, aussi uh, um, EST. Mm un grand respect pour mm. ce travail mm. mais comme tu as dit mm. la truc euh, musical de ça mm. nous intéresse pas mm. beaucoup la ouais. yeah, I, I just don't know it so good mm. the EST mm. I think you know it a little bit but mm. uh, it's mm. and uh, I think the what we have uh, I th maybe we work in a I mean for f I think that was also for me very inspiring to see Uh, what is possible also mm. with a jazz group wh where you can go if you work so together like EST mm. did that for me it was yeah that, that was very inspiring mm. just to isn't it more complicated to have uh, tons of influences than less influences uh, est-ce que c'est pas plus difficile d'avoir beaucoup plus d'influence on your website uh, for each of you there's like names I'm going to mention this name sur, le, sur votre site internet. Il y a, pour chacun d'entre vous, il y a quelques influences principales. Pour uh, Stéphane, c'est Sonic Youth, Paul Blake, James Blake, Flying Lotus et Jason Moran. Pour Fabienne, c'est les Dead Kennedys, Oscar Peterson, les Sex Pistols, Richard Strauss et Miles Davis. Et pour Claudio, c'est Neil Vaugram, Peter Fox, Keith Jarrett, Becca Stevens et Bonnie Prince Billy. Euh, Est-ce que quand vous, quand vous commencez à travailler ensemble, il euh, n'y a pas justement la tentation de mettre trop de choses Is there like a temptation to have too many ingredients When you are doing your music, I think important is if you wi when you are playing, you have to forget. Forget. <laughs> mm. Is it easy? Yeah, is it for me, I think. Um, I think. Yeah, I think it's. I don't know. Maybe I don't know enough. 
<laughs> 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 no, but uh, pff, uh, yeah, no. For me, it's uh, it's easy. Yeah. It's mo it's getting more easy. I, I remember when I did jazz school, and uh, you uh, and you are very into everything, and you are. But you answered. You said it's because I don't know a lot of stuff. So maybe. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know some stuff, but, but well, maybe not. Yeah, but maybe maybe he has more problems with that. I don't know. <laughs> but I think when when you um, like when we also did some some tours in Asia, mm -hmm. and and ate beautiful food in China, in Indonesia, and, and then we travel a lot in Europe, You, like f from the food point. Now I know a lot of different food and it actually makes me a better cook. Mm. And I think with music it's the same. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean you agree? <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's for me it's different because uh, um, it's not really studying. If I, if I study something, if I transcribe a solo, then I need maybe uh, one week to to get it r right, you know, to s transcribe it and also to play it. And then I need at least one month to forget about it. <laughs> so th and th that's the important part. I think the forgetting about mm. is the, the important but the very difficult part that you don't get stuck in, in all those. Especially, I think, as a drummer maybe, I don't know. It's As a drummer, you, you tend to 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 put technique and stuff in 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 uh, before the the musical aspect sometimes you know because it's really easy to 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 de develop technically but not musically so what I do is um, uh, just listening to 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 different music and uh, sometimes just not practicing and doing other stuff so that helps to 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 forget about it. That's that's the hard part. Mm. I don't know. Did you already uh, have in mind uh, what's going to be the post-revolution? Vous avez déjà l'esprit la la suite. Are you very productive? Yeah, Do you write a lot of stuff? Do you mm. you have already Nous like ten albums idées, in oui. mind? Vous avez déjà des. Ouais. Nous avons aussi des peut-être des mu musiciens qu'on peut euh, inviter. Inviter, ouais, mm. peut-être pour pour une autre truc et. Euh, Aussi, euh, il, nous avons des nouveaux morceaux et on doit parler avec notre euh, partenaire et... Ça va, donc on va sortir la post-revolution et les... Bien, bah donc on... Mais c'est... Ok, c'est le commence de cet album maintenant. Oui, on a l'impression que cet album a vraiment été une libération, ouais. plus qu'une révolution presque. Ouais. Une, uh, une libération mm. than a revolution. Ouais. Ouais. Yeah. Bon alors avant de savoir à euh, quoi ressemblera la post-révolution, on mm -hmm. conseillera à tout le monde d'écouter Revolution qui vient donc de sortir sur le label Big Jazz. Merci Rusko Nitrio. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Merci à toi. Merci. toi. Thank you.